My name is Stephanie Park. My name is Elliot McHugh. Clint Robinson. Marlo Van Tant. Nick Marshall. Shayna Vasquez. Felicia Derrico. I'm Benjamin Freeman. Shelby Moore. First of all, I had no idea about the project. Um, Sandy Melton met with me one afternoon and uh, showed me information about Holden Layfield. Of course, it struck a chord with me because I knew it. Holden was very popular, and I, I don't think personally I knew what he was going through. I knew that he was getting in trouble every now and then. She had just asked me what my thoughts were, and I said, well, definitely an art show. I, I have tons of really, really strong, uh, talented kids that would probably love to do this. I decided to present it to some of my drawing and painting students and they seemed really interested in it. And then of course um, it could just be me so I said why don't we do Troop and Callaway and let's get everybody involved. You know just high school kids and let's, let's you know, throw together an art show and let's do a silent auction and that way we can get the proceeds to go to the making of the movie. I did a mental illness art piece. I heard the story of Holden and everything was pretty intense, a uh, powerful story and so uh, I tried to do something that kind of embodied that. I wanted to create a piece that was very upbeat and, um, and it made people just look happy and feel good like looking at the piece. So what I wanted to do was to show the head and the body about how you can have so much packed on the inside and still be hollow. It was nice to see them collaborate with each other, work with each other in a positive way, and push each other. And you don't really see that a lot with, with artists. Um, they, they do have that sort of alienated kind of mentality. They like to work alone. They like to be independent. But here, I mean, I, I just, my, I could be more proud of my students. I hope that people can see just how, like, what's on the outside of someone can just come into someone and just fill them until it just overflows into the world. I see all these kids, like, digging deeper into themselves to like pick out these emotions and like each story or each painting has like a complete story in it and you don't really realize how elaborate it can be. Just to see how they can express themselves when, when words fail, it's just, it's, it's a perfect way to describe what art is and what art can do for people and how therapeutic it can be. It's wonderful. The students have totally applied themselves. They've jumped into this project wholeheartedly. I had no idea they had this ability in them because before they were only worried about their grade. Now they're worried about a message. It's not exactly what I thought it was before. I used to think that it was kind of multiple personality disorder and it's not that. It's more of a not being able to differentiate between what's real and what's not. They can't really feel like they can share it with other people because it has such a negative connotation in today's society. So they kind of have this inner struggle where they want to be happy but they feel like something's constantly holding them back. Everybody's basically the same. Everybody battles stuff. Everybody's going through things. So you should always just be nice and be considerate of how people act. It's nothing to be afraid of. It's just like any other illnesses. Like for cancer, everybody like feels sorry for them and everything. But with mental illness, they think they're weird. They think they're crazy, but they're not. They're just, it's the same. Everybody goes through something. Like everybody always has something that they go through. And of course, there's a lot of people who's afraid to speak out about it. Because they might be afraid of like, okay, these people might judge me. Like. What I just need to keep to myself, and sometimes keeping stuff to yourself becomes too overwhelming. My students kind of restored my faith in humanity. Uh, I did not think that at their age, most of these these, these kids um, living in such a digital world, and they're so kind of self-involved sometimes that they would uh, want to step outside of their comfort zone and do uh, or be or be a part of this project. I hope that this project will help people be a little more understanding of each other and a little more loving and. A little be a little easier on each other. And now they're flashing peace signs in school, and it's just nice. It's nice that, that people, they, they underestimate how powerful art can be, and in my opinion, it's it's one of the, the most effective, um, I guess, methods to build your you know, uh, cognition, or uh, cognitive development, and, um, and I, I can just see it. They're, they're out there excited, happy, they're looking at their work, they're not disappointed or found out about the ribbon, they're congratulating each other, and ready to get back in the classroom and make more art, so it's a great thing. I'm Ellie McHugh and I'm holding on. I'm holding on. I am holding on. I am holding on. I am holding on. I'm holding on. I'm holding on. I am holding on. I'm holding on. I'm holding on. I am 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 holding on
I am holding on. I am holding on. I am holding on.